Got some gas at the lodge, some Castle Danger. And I got the uh, Mercury right here. I think I'm in my happy place. Look at this, hold on. Look at this lake tonight. Could you ask for much more, huh? Honestly. It's about as good as it gets. It's 9.30ish on Thursday. And uh, I had a realization today that I'm just not going to be able I wanted to get done by Friday. And obviously that's not going to happen. So then I wanted to get done by Saturday. And I don't think that's going to happen either. Tomorrow I'll definitely be able to finish sheeting, but again, I'm not gonna sheet the whole thing. I'm gonna sheet half and then three quarters of the other side. And then I'm gonna use this space to get up on the roof and then finish out the other side tomorrow. We got Friday morning. Um, it is gonna be hot today. It's really humid already, it's eight o'clock. There's like no wind, it's just like, the air is just sticking on you. Look at the lake. There's like nothing. Yeah, I didn't sleep hardly at all last night with the carpal tunnel. It was so bad from putting all those hurricane ties in. Um, so hopefully no hammering today and I'll be able to get some sleep tonight. I'm running about 15 minutes per row for boards. So if I can keep that up, I'll make good progress and I'll be done sheeting by this afternoon. 11.30 on uh, Friday. It is hotter than bejesus out. Like, it's gotta be 90 something, close to 90. And then I'm in the sun, there's no clouds. Look at that sky. I'm up on the roof. But the roof's coming along. See that? It's like 1.30. I haven't put a board up in about an hour and a half. Um, I just, all I need to do is finish that. And it's 93 degrees and it's just, I can't do that. I can't be up on the roof at 93 degrees. Not when I'm in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's just too fricking hot and uh, just absolutely destroyed my productivity. It's like basically I'm wasting the day. Here I was making great progress. I was actually ahead of progress. I'm staying an extra day or two now so I can get done. And that's that's wasted because it's it's gonna be 93 tomorrow. It's gonna be 93 on Sunday. What am I gonna go up on a on a steel roof in 93 degrees and put screws in? And melt my goddamn shoes off. Especially like this, where there's not a cloud in the sky. And it's the solstice, so the sun's as strong as it's going to be. Or it's, you know, June. God damn it. Like, of all the weather to get, to get messed up by. But, all right, I'm complaining. I will uh, talk to you later. I've got to show you what I made here. This is a screen for the patio. And I sacrificed some to uh, get myself the screened in door here. So I can take a nap with the window open because it is so flipping hot. I gotta lay down, I'm gonna try to take a nap. Oh yeah, didn't get any sleep last night so it'd be nice to cool off, at least take a nap. Went down to the lake, that felt really good. I do gotta get back and uh, I gotta get back to the, uh, the roof today, it's supposed to be 88 degrees at eight o'clock tonight. But it's not the heat, it's the sun. Like, I'm fine with the heat. It's just, that sun is just brutal right now. Are you a woodchuck? Is that what you are? Are you living under my cabin? It's about three o'clock. Still nothing happening. I'm... Uh, Heat stroked, drink a bunch of water, 
went down to the lake, cooled off. Had to come out of the shed because it was just too, too hot in there. At least there's a breeze here. And so I'm sitting in the shade with the breeze. So it's uh, keeping me nice and cool, but God dang, I wanted to get that roof done today. I'm gonna go to the lodge and uh, get some water because I'm pretty much out of water. So got water filled up two five gallon pails of water. So I'm just gonna drink a shit pile of water tonight. <laughs> just the whole whole time because uh, I do not want to get. I was pretty close, I think, to getting heat exhaustion or heat stroke. I got uh, one side all done, except for the tar paper. I'm going to be short on tar paper. But uh, the other side's about half done, so tomorrow, a couple hours, I'll finish up the other side and then uh, tar paper, and then I can start on the purlins. Right, so I don't have tar paper on that side yet, so you can see the cracks. And then over here, where there is tar paper, it looks phenomenal. This looks so cool. What a good choice. So yeah, this is, uh, this is it. So much is done. I'll finish shooting tomorrow. Should have finished today, but we don't need to relive that situation. I'll show you what it's like up in the loft. It is uh, very restrictive on headspace. Kids will love it though. So, there is the back side of the loft. Cool, huh? Uh, today was a good day, actually, all things considered. The way it started out, or at least the way it ended, or the middle there, I should say. I didn't think it was going to be a good day, but I, I got the roof half done. I got over half of that one done too, which means three quarters of the roof is done. Not bad on really limited amount of work time. Not looking forward. I'm looking forward to getting some sleep, but I know that it's going to be carpal tunnel again. So I'm not looking forward to that. Last night was so, it was so bad. I was screaming. Like I'd wake up screaming in pain. Wednesday morning, 5.15. I didn't sleep at all. CTS. 8.40 on uh, Saturday morning. Almost done with the roof. It's hotter than blazes already. I wanted to get this done early. And I'll be done in about, I don't know, an hour at the most. It's 9.45 on uh, Saturday. I just finished sheeting the roof. Everything that's done, uh, that's going to be done. So I'll show you here. First of all, A, it's hotter than blazes already. It's going to be a screamer today. I'm not sure what the hell just happened. What the fuck? AEF lock? Yesterday, I went to the lodge and I got two five-gallon pails full of water, and I, I almost threw one of them already, so I might have to go back, but... I don't want to repeat it yesterday. All right, let me show what we got going on here. So, I'm using two by threes on their edge to create a pocket, essentially, around the edge. And then what's going to happen is we're going to put the foam. It's going to be in the pocket and then a purlin will be strapped over the top. That's how this is going to work. Uh, so it'll hold all the foam in that you won't see the foam either for that reason. Um, and what I think I'm going to do the way I'm going to swing this is I'm going to attach the purlins down there first. So I never have to go past, never have to get close to the edge again. I'm gonna attach the purlins. So if I'm putting a four foot, put four foot piece in, I'm gonna put four foot worth of purlins. So three, I guess. And then I'll just set them there or I'll lag them in, set them there. 
and then I'll take my foam and slide it in underneath. And then I'll slide it up this way and build this up. And then I'll do the same thing this way. And I'll just keep working that way till I have all my purlins in. And then my last foam can come in from the top. And I never have to go down there again. We got 11 o'clock. I have to hang it up for the day, at least for the, for the afternoon. I finished the sheathing about half an hour ago. I, uh, I put the edging on. I got my purlins cut, pulled, carried my purlins up here. So next thing I need to do is just go around the edge and tack down all the purlins. And then when I'm done with that, um, I'm gonna take the foam and I'm gonna carry it up a ladder and just chuck it up on the top and then come from the top side and slide it in underneath the purlins. Here's the lake. So it's 90 some degrees the first Saturday after Memorial Day. Could not be a better lake day. And there's one boat. <laughs> that's, that's the only one I've seen so far. I've been down here swimming for about 10 minutes and I don't even think they're boating, they're just going to their cabin. So these purlins here, can you see those legs? These things right here. Six inches. They go down through the foam into the rafters. I need that to be a very solid connection because that's what my steel roof is then gonna be screwed to these purlins. So that's the plan. This part of the roof, ready for the steel. I gotta finish this off before I can do the, I haven't done it because the anchor. Uh, I might just have to move the anchor tomorrow, get more done. So, I don't know, we'll see you tomorrow. Six o'clock, just waking up. I, uh, that's kind of a false statement because I didn't sleep. It's been like three nights in a row where I haven't had like more than a couple hours of sleep consecutively. I was starting out this week and I slept great. And then... My carpal tunnel is so bad right now. I can't even, I just can't. It's just, I lay down and it's just like, I wake up screaming, it hurts so bad. I gotta, I don't know what, I don't know what I need to do. But. 7.45 <clears throat> on Sunday. It is ungodly hot already. There's not a cloud in the sky. I mean, there is, there's a few, but. And there's no breeze. That sun is just baking right down. Oh my God. I went up on the roof. I did, uh, I put two rolls of tar paper on and I'm about ready to call it quits. Okay, it's eight o'clock, all done with my tar paper. Man. Ugh. So I'm gonna stay on the floor for a while. I'm gonna chuck up the foam and then I'll arrange some come back down, get some more, arrange it. And I should be able to do almost the whole roof that way. Right, so there's my hatch. That's where I uh, have been going in and out. I've closed up everything else around it. That's gonna be the last thing that I do before I have to switch to a ladder. The whole roof done now. I buttoned everything up except for my portal or my, my little hatch. I did that. Got the whole thing tar papered. I finished putting all the insulation in them on both sides. I got the purlins in on the one side. They're all done. All right, I'm going to start with the purlins on the other side. Here's the lake. She's rolling. Wind is screaming right now. I was able to actually take a nap today for about, I think it was like an hour. I'm not really sure. It's hard to say because I have a clock or anything, but that's how it feels. But hey, I'll turn around. I'll show you the, here's the path. There's the, there's the cabin. A week ago, there was nothing. And now there's a cabin. I was really hoping to uh, 
my original plan was to be done by like Friday, and then maybe stay Saturday and get the solar set up and you know get the stove in there and clean everything up. But here it is Sunday night, and I don't even have the steel up yet. But tomorrow, that's my plan. All right, it's about uh, 10 o'clock, give or take, on a uh, Monday. I'm putting the steel up. I've got four sheets up there already. I'm using that as a uh, backstop. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just sliding the sheet up and then uh, resting against that so it spaces it and overhangs it perfectly. I got an inch and a half overhang, as you can see here. Pretty consistent throughout. Uh, I'm carrying the steel up from, you know, down to the spot, putting it here, cutting it with the cutoff wheel. My rake trim on, that went well too. Didn't cover as far down as I thought, so I might need to get some steel or something to put under there or just paint it, I guess. But yeah, no, it's going great. It's actually uh, a lot easier than I thought. 90 degrees out, but I can take it today. Need to get done. Um... I just finished doing the other side where I had the anchor. So I put the anchor in the wall here. See that? And that runs up through the roof hole. And then uh, I don't know where else to put the anchor. So anyways, I finished the purlins where I had the anchor. Now the only thing I need to do additionally, aside from put the roof on, is when I get to where my porthole is, then I gotta fill that in and that's gonna be time consuming and that's gonna suck because I gotta put boards on and then tar paper and then insulation and then purlins. That'll take me probably half an hour at least. Um, but the good news is, uh, well, and then I'll have to come down on a ladder, which really sucks. So I gotta get a rope for my ladder too. So if I drop the ladder, I'm not stranded. Imagine that. I guess I have my safety line too, that I could always shimmy down <laughs> if I had to. <laughs> All right, so this is, it is, uh, it's Monday, it's about one o'clock, give or take. Hotter than hell. The steel roof was so hot, like I had to, I was, whole, I was carrying a piece and I had to set it down because it was burning me through my leather glove. So I just came down to the lake here and uh, talk about, you know, a, di a dichotomy. It's like pure hell working on the roof and then. Could you have a better lake day? I mean, there's no wind. The ripples from my... No wind, just a beautiful, beautiful day. Elbow Lake. All right, it's Tuesday, or Monday, sorry. It's about 2.30. I wanted to breeze through today, I really did. I just couldn't do it. It was just too hot, that sun. I mean, there's no clouds, there's no breeze. It's mid-June, that sun's beating straight down. When it gets at an angle behind those trees, so like maybe half an hour, an hour from now, then I'll come out and finish it. Well, it's a little after 7.10 right now, I think, 7.15. And uh, I'm not gonna win this round. The, uh, the cabin got me. Snatched victory from the jaw, snatched de uh, defeat from the jaws of victory. Two sheets left of steel and I ran out of screws. I thought I bought, you know, according to the box I had you know, there's like, I don't know, I did the math, and uh, there's way more than enough that I needed, but apparently not. Uh, so, you know, I could have bought an extra $2 box of screws and been done this weekend. But that's okay. Next time when I'm here, I guess I'll do another two hours on that. I cut the sheets and everything, so I just have to 
put them up and hang them. It just sucks because it was like, this is it. Almost done. Almost did it. Got my legs for it. You know, and shit, just can't finish. But what do you do? That's life. So I'm gonna wrap the house now. I was gonna do that tomorrow, and then I'll just tomorrow I'll just clean up and then be out of here. We are getting a workout. The roof is tonight. It's just crazy sheets of rain right now. Getting ready to leave. 10 o'clock, no necessary 9.30 on Tuesday. Here's the place as I come up the up Karn's trail. There she is. With the roof 90 uh 95% complete. <laughs> Looking pretty good, huh? Tuesday, 9.45, I am officially on my way out. I'm on the mule trail right now, working my way down to the boat. And uh, normally I'd say it's bittersweet, but it's not. <laughs> I've been here long enough, been here for 10 days. I've uh, been busting my butt for 10 days. Let's take a look at the lake. Too nice, huh? Been busting my butt for 10 days. Got a lot accomplished. The uh, the shell is all built. I just need to do the screen and porch now, which shouldn't be <laughs> too hard. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I don't have any material. Well, I have some materials for that, but I got to carry a lot of posts and stuff. So, but uh, yeah, I, I'm happy with my progress. I really wish I could have got those last two panels on the roof, but whatever. It is what it is. Get them next time. I gotta get new cap I gotta get caps anyways for the roof. So I'll uh I'll get them and I'll have to go up there and take care of all that all at once. So here's the boat. There's Elbow Lake. And it's gonna be a great Tuesday. See ya.